Hey, this is Jason Creel and you're watching the Lawn Care Life. Today, I wanna to help you identify some of the common summer weeds you'll find in your lawn. Many times, identifying the weed is the first and most important step in knowing exactly how to control the weeds. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna go on a hunt here for some common weeds and see what we can find. Now, this uh, time of year here, we might still see some cool season weeds, but there's also plenty of warm season weeds that are starting to pop up. So let's take a look. One of the weeds I deal with on a regular basis is nut sedge. Now, we have uh, purple nut sedge and yellow nut sedge, and sometimes they can be a little tricky to tell apart. And the reason it, that you might want to know the difference, purple is typically a little bit harder to control. So um, the purple, the, the blades may li lay a little flatter where on a yellow nut sedge they, they tend to stick higher up in the air. I do think the yellow has, you know, has a slightly lighter color. Um, like for instance, I'm going to say this is, I, I believe this is yellow. Usually it's a finer point. Uh, the leaf comes to a, a finer point where on a purple it's more of a duller uh, point if that makes sense. So, but nut sedge, you know, it's one of those weeds hard to control. This year I'm experimenting with a product called Dismiss NXT uh, using it for nut sedge, cooling and stuff like that. So I hope to do a video on that soon to show you my results with that. This is actually a cool season weed but I wanted to show it to you because a lot of times it can give you problems during the summer. You know here we have this the weed here it looks kind of like parsley it's actually um, burr weed, and if your kids go out barefooted in the summertime, you know, a lot of times they'll get uh, stickers in their feet, and it's from this particular weed called burr weed. Uh, it can be controlled, you know, a lot with a, a fall pre-emergent, and then also, you know, using post-emergence early in the year can help get rid of this. If you see it in your lawn, it's important to try to knock it out early, like I said, once it gets big and established, it has the burrs. Uh, even if you kill it, then you still have the stickers in your yard that can be quite painful. Here's one that gets talked about a lot. This is some crabgrass growing up in the bare spot in this lawn. A lot of times that's what happens. Maybe a pre-emergent was not applied in the bare spot or sometimes um, you end up with a bare spot. It's just where weeds like to grow. Um, but anyway, here, here is crabgrass as you can see a lot of people i talk to basically any kind of big clumpy grassy weed in your lawn they they um, call it crabgrass which is not actually true but this one actually is crabgrass crabgrass you know like i said most time you prevent it with your pre-emergent early in the year um, it can be controlled with a post-emergent usually uh, it contains the active ingredient quinclorac here's one i see a lot uh, this particularly popular in centipede lawns this is called Lespedeza. Change Up is a good product to control Lespedeza. I want to show you uh, another weed that looks similar to Lespedeza, but is not the same thing. And we'll compare them side by side. Looks like a leftover uh, geranium that'll probably be dying out very soon. Here's a spot to check out some weeds. You got yellow wood sorrel. You look like it's about to, to put out a little flower right there. Looks a lot like clover. Um, a little bit more challenging to kill. Usually three-way products that I use like triplet and things like that typically don't um, take care of the yellow wood soil, but other um, post-emergent herbicides do work on. I use Ch Change Up is a good um, product for the yellow wood soil. You've got Spurge starting to show up a lot. That's a, a very common weed. You might see it in the cracks on your driveway. And Spurge is a very similar to the Lespedeza. Um, but it has, has a slightly different look to it. Let's see if we can compare them side by side. All right, so I'm holding this, uh, this particular type of spurge in my hand, which has a little more bluish green tint. The Lespedeza is more of a true green uh, tint that's, that's to the right. Lespedeza is, is typically a little bit of a woodier stem to it as well. It, it's quite woody, actually, so... Um, where the the spurge is, is is sort of a soft stem on it. So, but anyway, you can see see a slight difference between spurge and Lespedeza. And just say there, there's more than one variety of spurge too, so they're not all um, going to look the same. But let me show you this Lespedeza, and you can sort of see how the centipede lawn it, it kind of just blends throughout the grass. I mean, it, it's like I mean, it's not 
you know a, a big ugly weed necessarily but you'll see it feathered in throughout the grass sometimes here we got a clump of dallas grass already starting to put out a seed head so you can see dallas grass typically and um, gets larger and more ugly as the year goes on again a lot of people call me early in the year and they say i've got crab grass on my lawn it'll actually be dallas grass dallas grass is a perennial crabgrass is an annual crabgrass you can prevent with your pre-emergent dallas grass you can it's very difficult to control there are some options but um it is a challenge for sure here's a weed you typically see more in the spring but this one's still hanging around it's called field matter it'll probably uh, be going away fairly soon it's another image of some spurge see how a lot of times it sort of stays real low to the ground Burn weed you might see early in the summer. Pops up overnight, very difficult to control with a pre-emergent, not very difficult to get rid of with a post-emergent. There's wild violet. You know, it kind of hangs around uh, most of the time. It has a heart-shaped leaf, fairly easy to identify. Usually puts out a purple flower in the spring. Can be controlled with, you know, products like blindside and things like that work pretty good on wild violet. Here's another example of what customers will sometimes call and tell me I've got crabgrass in my lawn. This is a fescue clump in the middle of Bermuda grass. Could use a product like Tribute Total, something like that to knock out this. Again, in the south, a lot of times we're trying to grow Bermuda, keep the fescue out. Maybe in other parts of the country, you're trying to grow fescue and keep the Bermuda out. There's a good example of nut sedge. I'm going to guess that that is yellow nut sedge, not 100% sure, but you can see that it's a fairly fine point. Uh, it comes to a fairly sharp point at the end of the blade there. And here's another challenging weed to get rid of. It's called Virginia buttonweed. It'll spread out, stays low to the ground, looks like a, a vine. Uh, change up works good, blindside works good. You know, I think any of the dismiss products work uh, well on it. So. Um, that's Virginia buttonweed. And here's some uh, white clover still on the lawn. This is more prominent in the spring. It hangs around in the summer, but usually does not like the heat. So it may, even without treatment, kind of stay low in the lawn and be a lot less noticeable. All right, hope you guys learned some weeds today. Let me hear from you in the comments. If you had not done so, subscribe to the channel. I'll continue to provide the helpful content. And here's some suggested videos popping up now. Thanks a lot.